soup. It's hard being a trans person, even these days. And now I find out that I'm trans Harper. What the hell is that? And something else, you might be trans Harper too. So you better watch this video. Thank you, Aaron, for that uh, wonderful, if not exaggerated, introduction. Welcome, everyone, to Butterfly Soup, a new YouTube channel dedicated to news, satire, and education from a trans perspective. I'm Madam Black Rose, and this is a Get Out the Vote video. But first, a message from My Mirror, a wonderfully exotic, useful, and, well, you'll see. It knows its place, and it does a great job. Watch and listen. They might be a mirror, but they certainly don't like being objectified. No wonder they're always so snarky and bitchy. Here's Mirror. Oh, Mr. Harper and his crew seem to have a televangelist view when it comes to transgender bathroom lore. You see, Mr. Harper's hand-picked Senate, while shouting their party tenant, transgender rights we do deplore. They say men in dresses are just a drag, bringing rapists and molesters like a black plague, threatening women's and girls' public porcelain thrones. But that's all fine and well, my friends. It's a Harper government that lends their currency of fear, hate, and gore. Now soon, one day, there will be a Canadian government that is free to bring trans lives into the fold. And if, what of Mr. Harper, you may ask, will he ever be brought to task for his porcelain piracy of yore? Just let Mr. Harper and his C's have their phobic little peas, as history will finally note their place as drama queens who are just a drag. Bravo, Amir, for that wonderful performance, but I think you now just stole my heart, my thunder. Now, trans Harper, what does that mean exactly? Trans meaning to go beyond, and Harper meaning imaginative fear. So, to go beyond imaginative fear, or to go beyond Mr. Harper. Now, Mr. Harper is a theocon, that's how he identifies himself, a theological conservative. So, you could say that He's a man who fears God and loves speculating on everyone's money. Hmm. Now, Mr. Harper and his Harper government, and let's be clear here, has impacted several groups over, over his time in power. And the first group is the government of Canada. We lost that when the Harper government came, came into being. But it didn't stop there. He's managed to negatively impact women's groups, Aboriginals, immigrants, veterans, seniors, uh, Muslims, and trans people, of which I am, one, I am one myself. Trans rights. Four times, four times in 10 years, Canada has tried to deliver on trans rights and it failed because of Harper and his very regressive, very theological conservatives. They would try and paint you a picture that Trans people, trans women particularly, um, are child molesters, uh, we're pedophiles, we're, we're rapists and assaulters, um, we're just men in drag. Well, that's not exactly, that's not the case at all, it's the furthest from the truth. We're people like anyone else. Um, and we're people who are just trying to live our lives and trying to carve out our own little piece of Canadian life. We have the same dreams and desires. Uh, but foremost right now is feeling equal to everyone else. Um, and we have managed, we have failed to manage to give trans people in Canada equal rights. What does that look like? Um, inclusion in the criminal code so that hate crimes can't be perpetrated um, against trans people so, so easily. Um, certainly discourage that kind of activity and behavior. Um, as well as charter rights so that I can feel safe to go in any province to the women's washroom, or if I need shelter in a women's shelter, or if I need to go to jail that I'm not stuck in with the, the, the men. I'm sure they would enjoy my breast, but uh, I, I wish not to share my breast with them. Uh, well, 
nor anyone in jail or shelter for that matter, but I digress. Uh, so how do we stop all this regressiveness? I mean, our foreign policy, we're no longer in the Security Council, we're no longer seeing a leader in environment. Uh, um, even trade, uh, he set up all these trade these trade programs, all these countries, and now the, the, the Pacific Trade Pact. Um, we have the Prairie Provinces apparently being painted red, yet I don't see even in our, our most, all, all the other business dealings Mr. Harper has had that, that exports of beef or dairy or poultry or anything of that matter has gone up. In fact, our farmers say they're suffering more than they ever have. Um, our environment is certainly suffering more and has less protection than it has ever enjoyed. And, and our, our status internationally, our reputation has basically continued to go into decline. The answer to this is to get out and vote. Now, who gets out and vote? We, we've had lower, very low voter turnout for, for several decades now. But normally speaking, uh, the majority of voters over the age of 65 um, are a very deep religious faith. What's missing, what's missing are basically the, the more moderate um, population of our country and the youth, uh, ages between 18 and 35. Now, I understand that there's, there's so much to be concerned about and so much to be fighting for, and there's education and then there's jobs. Um, we, we want to be able to afford to go to school. We don't want to be saddled with debt for the rest of our lives for a job we may not even ever get. Um, you have to go out and vote. That's the only way we can stop, stop a regressive Harper government. Now, what does that vote look like? Well, it's going to be liberal or it's going to be NDP. And the, the long and the short here is we, no matter what we do, we have a conservative controlled Senate. And the only way to get through that now would be to fill up all those empty seats that Mr. Harper has left behind. Now, the NDP, Mr. Mulcair sadly wants us to try to get rid of the Senate. He hasn't mentioned filling up those seats, just getting rid of the Senate. Now, we've tried that before. This involves getting English-speaking Canada and French-speaking uh, French Canada to sit down at the table and agree on some things. That has failed twice in, in the past decades, and uh, there are no indicators that it would succeed in the next four or eight years. So with the NDP not willing to put any, any senators in those seats, it would certainly look like that if we want to put any progressive policies through the Senate, it's going to take a liberal government at this point. Here is hoping that the New Democratic Party decides to change their stance on the Senate, at least for a little while. But at the end of the day, it involves getting out there to vote. None of these things can happen. We can't move forward without everyone. And I don't mean, again, just the wonderful seniors that take that time and energy out to go vote. I mean everyone. I mean you're 18. I mean you're 28. I mean you're 38. It doesn't matter. Get out there and vote. Make it count. If, you're not, if there's nothing that appeals to you in, in, in this government, maybe it's something for your mother and father, or maybe for your children, or, or maybe for some group dear to your heart, something. But don't expect the world. Just, just hope for one thing. Pick, pick three things and hope that one thing comes through, even if it's not personally, just for yourself. But please, find a reason, either on the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the... Uh, the, the 12th or the 19th, to get out there and, and make your vote count. Shoot for better education, more affordable education, for better jobs, for an easier retirement, for friendlier immigration and greater rights for all Canadians, for more respect for our veterans, for, for our international standing, and for our environment and our ecology. Let's make Canada respect, respectful, progressive, and welcoming once more. Again, Please get out and vote. And don't forget to please tune in next Saturday for another video on Butterfly Soup. Take care. And here we are. We've made it to the end of the very first episode of Butterfly Soup. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, please hit the like button. And of course, if you have liked it, then also I would love it if you could please subscribe. Uh, next Saturday and every Saturday you can find new butterfly soup videos and we only have a few days left till the election uh, or sorry till the uh, voting on the 19th so please get out there and cast your vote thank you everyone see you next Saturday bye